we interrupt the Japan series with a video about Japanese craftsmanship. We've travelled back to London and uh, are going to be driving all the way to Paris with Mazda. This video is sponsored by Mazda. We're going to be making a commercial video for the Mazda Europe YouTube channel and this is going to be a behind the scenes on how we're producing this film um, and we'll be meeting up with Nicholas Pinon who is an expert craftsman for Kintsugi which is the art of assembling together broken ceramics. This is the Mazda 3 Sport GT by the way. Uh, Funnily enough, my dad had a Mazda back in the 90s, uh, and Ellie's mum had a Mazda uh, in the early to mid 2000s. Kind of coming full circle that we now get to drive one. We are on the way. <laughs> Driving to Paris. You've been here less than 24 hours. Yes. <laughs> So driving down to Folkestone, which is where the Euro Tunnel is, uh, we've actually just swapped over because I think it's a safe idea to both get some experience with the car on the correct side of the road uh, that we're used to. Um, so of course, driving in the UK, we drive on the left and we're gonna be taking this car over into Paris or into France, uh, which means we're gonna be driving a right-hand drive on the right side of the road. And uh, that's something I've never done before. Your turn to get some practice in this side of the continent. There's too many cars on the road. Leave me alone. <laughs> but it's always funny, whenever you first get into a brand new car and you're driving around, it's a little bit like playing a game for the first time. You're not sure on the interface what the buttons do, what everything else does, and there's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, and this is definitely the most tech I've had in a car. I've never had sensors around a car that show when you've got you know, uh, overtaking traffic and if you've got people coming up on your tail and other things. Uh, there's even cruise control that can maintain distance to the car in front of you. Um, this may have been around for a long time. I've just never used it. Oh, Mr. Allen. Huh. Confirm. Bon voyage, Mr. Allen. We need to take this with us into the terminal and then eventually we hang it up there, I believe. Okay, so I've got this headrest car mount and uh, it's quite cool you just sort of mount it on and it's got different holes here and then the idea is that I'm going to attach a position for a camera uh, because I think one of the best things you can get for car shots are static shots um, and so if I can mount the camera stable then we can get nice interior shots where the car you know stays fixed within the frame and all that changes is what you see out the window. Apparently we need one of these for each passenger in the car. Safety, safety. Scary. Dude, driving on a train. So we've made it onto the train and uh, that was quite an experience, driving through a train. I don't know how many places in the world you can do that, um, but it's quite cool. Of course you know that I love trains, uh, I've never driven on one before. So anti <laughs> Oh, I thought it was cool, I thought it was super cool driving onto a train. Um, I, think, I think this part is cool, like the fact that in 30 minutes we're going to get to like France. Like, and the fact that we're underground, yeah. in a car. I mean, the, the Euro Tunnel is an absolute marvel of engineering. It's so impressive how it was built. Um, I've watched so many documentaries and all sorts, uh, you know, those Sunday TV watching. Um, how old is it? Uh, it's new, 25 right? 25 years or so. Yeah, it was such a big occasion when it opened, and um, now we finally get to drive across it, which is super cool. Swapping over, um, because I have to be main character energy of this, this film. Uh, so I'll do the first drive on a slightly more scenic route down to Paris. Um, so we don't want to just get there as fast as possible. There's a few stops that we want to make along the way. Um, and then we'll get some like scenes of the car and build up a scenario. So nothing's really filmed chronologically. Um, 
but we've just got to kind of get some good views of obviously the car and then the surrounding areas and um, yeah, kind of build it all up that way. We are in metric land. Thank you. 12.47. Is it Saturday? No. <laughs> Why does my watch say it's Saturday? Head east towards Boulevard de l'Europe. <laughs> drive on the right, drive on the right, drive <laughs> on the right. Is it foggy? Smoky. currently uh, driving trying to find some spots where we can film the car from the outside because one of the difficult things is obviously you can film a lot inside but realistically we need shots from outside there's no light sort of breaking through um, but it's nice and soft so what I am loving this heads-up display on the screen it is very cool it just tells me the speed that I'm doing speed limit of the location and the cruise control setting if you've got it enabled. I feel like I'm in the future. Oh, come on, streets! We've uh, come to a place that's called Grand Place and um, there's some very sort of uh, French looking historical buildings. I'm assuming this would have been like a medieval quarter um, that's now a car park. <laughs> Conveniently, that meant finding parking was pretty easy. So I want to get some like side on shots of the car coming through with these buildings behind. Um, gonna need some wide shot. There are some railings, so we're gonna have to find a clear space. Uh, see how we go. First, we've got to find out how to pay for this parking. Free ticket, one hour, okay. <laughs> this is the free parking spot in Monopoly. There we go. Pass go. We're now going to drive straight to Paris, uh, which is about a two hour, 40 minute drive. And uh, it'll be dark by the time we get there. And then tomorrow, is where we'll do some shots around Paris before heading to get shots of the Japanese crafts um, in the center of Paris. We made it. We drove all the way to Paris and uh, we're in our little hotel room, um, which is in what seems to be a really nice area. Um, we are in the the Latin Quarter, Quartier Latin. Um, yeah, it uh, seems like there's a lot of good bars, restaurants and uh, definitely some breakfast options, which I'm looking forward to. Um, for now though, first point of call, get those batteries charging. Um, and offload some video and all sorts. Anyway, catch you tomorrow for day two of this little shoot. Good morning from Paris. We are scouting a couple of little locations today. Um, so the main agenda is we want to get some shots of some iconic views, uh, so classic ones of course, uh, the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, things like that. Uh, they are of course some of the busiest roads in all of Europe, uh, especially that roundabout from the Arc de Triomphe, so that's going to be a tricky one. Uh, but anyway, we're in this uh, sort of local area, um, there's like cute little roundabout and you know bistros and all sorts, uh, so we're just scouting some little locations, got a few test clips, now we're going to go and take the car to go and get those shots. Um, but the car is actually filthy, so we've got to find a car wash first. Lovely.
just come across this little set of stairs and a tiny winding road and some old lamps and bollards and everything. It looks very Parisian. And uh, as we were walking, I was like, could we drive down there? So just trying to work out if we can bring the car back because we've just spent some time at Trocadero uh, looking over the Eiffel Tower and everything. Had a little scout down, down the road, it's a dead end and there's no real way to turn the car around. So I think the only way to get this shot, which would be a great shot to see on top of the car because um, we can't do any drone stuff. So having this shot is very, very good, I think. Gonna have to come up this road and then reverse back down this street a little bit and then just go halfway and then film from above. So I think we can do it. Yeah, you're good. Keep coming. Okay, I think we've got good position. so far. Uh, I've got my setup with a screen because uh, I'm using a macro lens so I can see the details a little bit better. Um, this is becoming very helpful. Very, very glad I brought this. Uh, likewise, we've got audio setup um, closer to the source and uh, we're recording in 32-bit, which means that I can scale and bring it down and up. Uh, so hopefully the levels will be good. And uh, I'm just orbiting as we're filming. It's always so good filming Craftsman because the scenery and everything just is, it's easy to work with. There are things that you can block your shots and there's good lighting, everything just kind of, it was just easy to work with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything wrapped on the shoot, uh, which all went pretty well. Definitely got uh, a lot of footage, uh, a lot of good things to look over and edit. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go and piece it all together and uh, try and make sense of it all. But that's where the fun comes in. <laughs> Is this good or not? Just, I want you just to ponder for longer.
Paris today and uh, we've got about a five and a bit hour journey, um, I guess, to the, to the train, including the, the waiting time. Uh, and then we've got a couple of hours on the way back to London as well. Uh, but there's just a couple of shots that I want to try and get. Um, so I really want to try and get some like wheel out shots uh, as we go around some of the little streets of Paris. We don't really have a huge amount of time, we just got to drive uh, to get our Euro tunnel back. These will be the final shots uh, that we need. And then we'll get some of the opening shots in the UK afterwards uh, and then chronologically we'll flip them and add them into the video at the end. Okay, we've got a GoPro attached onto the outside. I hope it's still there. Am I going back up that way? Yeah. You just got road trip snacks. Uh, yeah. Lunch snacks, I've got two croissants, du croissant, du pommier, an escargot pistache, and a goat cheese pizza <laughs> for later. Yeah, looks good. And the croissant was really good as well, so. Super smooth journey to Calais Terminal. Honestly, the motorways in France, very easy to drive. There's obviously toll roads that uh, can be a little bit complex sometimes, but otherwise, barely any traffic. Um, very comfortable to drive, and I guess that is because they're toll roads. Now we've got to board and uh, take our train to the UK, which is 35 minutes. Trying to, trying to get good audio, you know? 